the Festival of Apprenticeships in partnership with BT Group, showcasing opportunities to future talent. Hello, can you hear me okay? Yeah. I like to come in amongst the audience and ask some questions and things like that, yeah. Okay, Is, has anybody heard of the Travis Perkins group? Yeah, it's all the old people that know the Travis Perkins group, is that, yeah. Why is that? Does any young people know about the Travis Perkins group? No? No? Okay. So what do Travis Perkins do? Whoever put their hand up. I think you put your hand up, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a twitch. That's right. You put your hand up. That's right, yeah. Oh, that's dead exciting, isn't it? Builders, merchants, supplies. I mean, I, how many people go to their bed at night and have a dream about working for a builder's merchant? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so there's some of the names that you're probably sort of familiar with. Sorry, I'm darting across the screen here. So uh, does anybody know any of these businesses that are under the trap, apart from the one that says Travis Perkins? Yeah, does anybody know any of these businesses that would fall underneath the Travis Perkins umbrella? Tool, who said tool, who, tool, yep, tool station, yep, tool station. You've obviously been over to our stall and seen the big pop-up banner that says tool station. Yep, any other business there? City Plumbing, we used to own City Plumbing and we sold it off. Anybody heard of Wix? Yep, we used to own Wix as well, but we've obviously demerged from them, yeah. So, Builders Merchant Supply. So, we've gone to bed at night and we thought, yeah, I really want a career in Builders Merchant, yeah. So to the young people here, is your, what are you going to do in the next five years? I've spoke to you this morning. So you want to do marketing? Yeah. What about yourself? Plumbing. Ah, okay. A trade. Fantastic. So you can do all these homers at the weekend and make loads of money. Yeah. Okay. Is this your dad? Yeah. So he'll want his new washing machine plumbed in and things like that. Yeah. What, what else? Anybody else got their career mapped out? What about, what about the three, the two of you sitting here? A lawyer. Yeah, fantastic. I'm married to a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. You want to be a, an engineer? What type of engineering? Mechanical. I'm a civil engineer. Yeah. Anybody else? What about, I'll try to look for the young people here. They've deserted the wrong, maybe all in lunch. Okay. So, anybody want to do business management? Nope, right, you can all go to lunch then. All right, okay. okay. So you've probably seen as we've got, a, uh, you're probably wondering who is LEAP within Travis Perkins, yeah? So LEAP, uh, we are a facilitator of apprenticeships within the Travis Perkins group, yeah? So we would facilitate apprenticeships for the construction industry, yeah? So the reason we've got a different name and we're not called Travis Perkins is because some of our competitors send their people to us and therefore they wouldn't want to go and send their people to Travis Perkins. So if we thought we'd call ourselves a different name, we would use some smoke and mirrors and that would fool them, yeah? So some of the careers that you can have within Travis Perkins. So <clears throat> Travis Perkins or LEAP, uh, so you come in at a level two, yeah? So if you can come into us without any qualifications whatsoever, and we will assign you a coach, a mentor, a functional skills tutor to get you through your maths and English. So if you have your maths and English, I think it's, apologies, is it GCSE or something like that? Is that right? Yep, so if you've got that at GCSE, then therefore you do not need a functional skills tutor and you could automatically go into our level two program. Yeah, so our level two program would give you a sort of foundation of what our business is about. So therefore, you would be doing warehousing, you would be doing sales, you would be doing distribution. Any, any, anybody remember back to 2016, something happened in the country that began with B? <laughs> Everyone's like, huh. yeah, the dreaded Brexit. Yeah, we had the dreaded Brexit, didn't we? And therefore, HGV drivers were commanding like 100 grand to drive a, a lorry for six months, yeah? Because we couldn't get hold of anybody. Well, guess what? We can put people through their HGV test. So we can do our warehouse to wheels, which is our quick program, or we can do a level two driver's apprenticeship. So therefore, you can obviously get into distribution and you can also get into things like operations, yeah? We've got other things like kitchen designers. Has anybody heard of Howden's? 
Yep. So does anybody know who our equivalent is? That's same as Howden's, but are in the Travis Perkins group? Selcon. Who said that? No, no donuts for you. We have a company called Benchmarks. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard of them or not. So that's our equivalent to Howden's, and that would be our kitchen supplier. So therefore, that's where you would do your kitchen designer. I work for a company called Keyline. Has anybody ever heard of Keyline? No, wouldn't be surprised. So 99% of our business is done with the trade. So we supply civil engineering solutions to the construction industry. Yeah. So I was going back to our level two program. Our level two program would bring you in and therefore give you that introduction to our whole business or not, you would, you'd be uh, subjected to the sales, the operations, the warehousing, the driving, etc. And once you go through that level two program, you can therefore choose a career path that you wanted to go down. Would you want to go down that sales line? Would you want to go down that operations line? Or would you want to do that management? Yeah. And uh, once you're on that management fast track, then there's obviously no looking back. So you would do your level three first line manager program your level four management development program, level five senior management development program, level six would be a degree in business management, and then level seven would be your master's in business management. Yeah, and you could probably achieve that all within probably about eight years or whatever, if you were ambitious enough, yeah. But Travis Perkins, so Travis Perkins is about 18,000 employees, about 1,600 outlets. Yeah, when we talk about Travis Perkins, we're talking about Travis Perkins PLC. So we're talking about you know, the, the, the parent company that's on the stock market. And you can think with a PLC, all the functions that go with a PLC. Yeah, and that's all the sort of secondary functions that go with the IT, property, surveyor, business development, supply chain, engineering, auditor, accountant, communications, marketing, yeah, commercial, HR health and safety. So there's all these functions within it. And guess what? We have apprenticeship programs that go with all these functions. Now, the only issue we have in an apprenticeship program is that you really, if you want to do one in marketing, you really have to be working for the marketing department. So if you're out there being an HGV driver and say, I think I'll do the marketing apprenticeship. Well, you really need to have working for that department. Yeah. So that's probably about the only sort of restriction that's on it. Yeah. But the one that we sort of pride ourselves on would be the sales and the management one. I mean, if I give you a wee bit of my career, anybody here born in the 1990s? Please somebody put their hand up. <laughs> okay. So I, I done the university route. I done civil engineering at university and then I done construction management masters and I came out and I got a job on the graduate trainee scheme with Keyline 27 years ago and I'm still there, yeah? as boring as it is, yeah. <laughs> so I've sort of fulfilled a career, so I've had 27 years with Keyline, I've started there as a, a graduate trainee, worked up to be an assistant manager, a branch manager, and then a regional manager, yeah. So I've found that I've, my career's kind of been fulfilled with everything that I've required within the sort of Travis Perkins group and working for Keyline. So our pathways, as I was mentioning before, are level two. So our level two would be our driver apprenticeship, our tool hire, you know, onto your level three kitchen designer, and your level four apprenticeship in sales. So this is your path that you could follow as you would lead up to your level seven. Your assistant manager. So in Keyline, we have sales managers and operations managers. So therefore, you could do a level three in, uh, management apprenticeship. Go on to be a branch manager. So your level five would be your branch manager. And then you go on to be your regional director which is your level six and level seven. So that would be your degree and your master's qualification. And the good thing about it is that you get to earn. So you get your sort of pocket money as you're learning and you're also getting a qualification. So how does that sound to you? Anybody want to do business management now with Travis Perkins? I'm not a very good salesperson. I should have taken our level four sales before I'd done this, shouldn't I? <laughs> Yeah, and as you can see, there's always the offshoots and things like that, etc. So once you get yourself established in the business and you feel as though you wanted to go into HR or if you wanted to go into marketing or commercial or law or whatever, you were, oh, law, you've woken up again, brilliant. So therefore, you've got an opportunity and we, we would obviously facilitate that and put you through the appropriate 
training programs and apprenticeships. So that's the a flavour of what we have. I think we have it's about 42 so programmes yet. Yeah. We've got about 42 or so programmes. Uh, we are in the top 40 of apprenticeship providers. I think there's about two and a half thousand were in for that vote and Travis were in the top 40, which is really good. I think we were second in our class. Not going to mention Howden's, they beat us. Yeah. So that's all the different programmes we can get from level two right up to level seven. So what's now? So you should come over and visit us on the stand just over. You'll probably see our wee gimmick forklifts running about and things like that, etc. And therefore we can sign you up and we're never going to let you go after that. Yeah. Okay. So what I'd probably want to do is just open the floor up. So as you say, I've done the university thing. I've been there, done it, wrote the book, etc. Worked for the company for 27 years, came through the different levels. Does anybody want advice on apprenticeships, further education? What's it like to work for Travis Perkins? Anybody get any questions? And therefore, we can just have a, a wee question and answer session. Yes? So is it like more specialised at the start and then it gets more general for like manager or high levels? So it's probably more general at the start. So you're, if you're in at that level two level, you'll be exposed to all our different parts of the business. So you'll be exposed to the warehousing, you'll be exposed to the driving, you'll be exposed to the sales, you'll, uh, you'll be exposed to the operations. And then when you pass that program, which is uh, about 12 to 15 months, therefore you normally pick a career path you want to go in after that, and then you'll start specializing in that. So you start specializing in sales or specializing in operations, or you may want to take the jump to management straight away. Any other questions? Anything about university life? Was how fantastic it was? How many parties did you go to? How many lectures did you miss? Any other questions regarding careers or advice on careers if you're just starting out? What would you look for or anything like that? No. Yeah, so think of it, not think of it as a builders, but think of it as that business skills that you would get, yeah? It, it, it's just different products that you sell, you know what I mean? It's still the same skills, techniques, behaviours, etc. It's just a different, we just happen to sell building materials, we do the exact same thing if you were running a hospital or something like that, etc. Or you're running some other kind of business, yeah? It's the skills that you're looking for, yep. And you can come and join our business, as Ashley says, a fantastic company. I've not left since uh, I, I joined it. And and therefore, you've got that opportunity to learn these skills and also get yourself a qualification that somebody can't take away from you. And you're also earning a wee bit of money as well. Yeah. And I suppose everybody's questions are, oh, how much do you pay to start with? That's what always the young people ask me. What are we about up to 22,000 to start with or something like that, around about that. So it's actually not that bad a pay to start with on that. And that's at level two. Yep. Any other questions? Where do we sign up? Stand 39. Yeah. Okay. You get a 10% wage increase if you sign up today. <laughs> yeah. I'll chuck in five. 15%. All right. You'll get a voucher as well for your, your patio this summer. Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much for listening to us. What you come and see is my name's Fraser, just across at Stand Out. And that's Ashley. She's the one that knows more about apprenticeships. Uh, I just get mics stuck in front of me and asked to speak about it. Yeah. So thanks very much for listening to us. Hope you enjoy your day. Good luck with your careers. And if you want to come and speak to us, we're just across the whole day. Thanks very much. For the Festival of Apprenticeships in partnership with BT Group showcasing opportunities to future talent.